we gotta take Discovery Plus for a spin and we're gonna show you exactly what you need to know about Discovery's new streaming service coming up on a streamable first look. What's up streamers, it's Jason from The Streamable and I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about Discovery's new streaming service, Discovery Plus. I'm gonna walk you through the app so you can see everything that you're gonna get before you sign up. Before I walk through the app, I want you to know a few things about Discovery Plus. There are two plans, one for $4.99 a month with ads and $6.99 a month without. If you're a Verizon Unlimited subscriber, you're lucky because you're actually gonna get a year free. Discovery Plus has a lot of content, but it is not like Discovery on cable. You're not going to get linear streams of your favorite Discovery channels. Instead, you're going to get about 55,000 episodes of content for Discovery properties like Discovery Channel and Food Network and HGTV, and there's even a preview of the brand new Magnolia Network. On top of that, you're going to get original content that you can't even get on cable, including additional content from the 90 Day Fiance franchise, a brand new show from Joanna Gaines called Magnolia Table, a whole new monster garage that's coming back just for Discovery Plus. So there's a lot that you can get that you're not going to want to miss. But let me show you exactly how the app works. It's available on a wide variety of devices, almost every streaming player that you could imagine. Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, Android TV, the new Chromecast, the old Chromecast. It's even available on Xbox gaming consoles and Samsung smart TVs. You may also be able to use it on select LG and Vizio smart TVs if it supports AirPlay or casting. You can even use it on your web browser or your mobile phone or tablet. When you first open the app, you'll notice it will take you to a For You tab, which tries to recommend content for you. Across the top, there's categories like food and true crime. If you scroll down, you'll actually see app tiles of all the different properties available on Discovery Plus. After you watch a couple shows, there'll even be a continue watching section so you can easily get back to your content. So why don't we first go to an app tile. So when you select something like Discovery Plus Originals, it will show you all the content available underneath that section. You can see things like trending content or different themes of content around that section. If you swipe all the way to the left, you'll notice there's a sidebar where you can do things like search and browse. So if you go and you browse, you'll notice very similar to the app tiles on the home screen, you can very quickly go across and go through all the different channels on the service. Underneath each channel you'll see things like what's trending and then different categories of content on top of it. If you actually tap and hold a tile, it will add it to your list. That makes it easy for you to access it from the My List section, which we'll show you in a little bit. You can also do this by going to the details on a page and selecting My List as well. The search on here is really powerful. You can search like things like genre, like true crime, or personalities like Bobby Flay or individual channels or shows like Fixer Upper. When you search, it has four different options including shows, episodes, UHD, which is ultra high def if there's any 4K content and then any extras they might have. You can go in and select a show and start watching. If you swipe back to the left, you can then go access my list. As you're going through Discovery Plus, you can start adding things to your list so you can very quickly access them. So you always have your favorite shows quickly available to you. Coming in a few weeks, they're actually going to be launching something called Discovery Plus Channel. So you can just sit back and relax and watch your favorite Discovery content. Another thing you should know is you can create up to five profiles for your family. To do that, you you swipe to the left, go all the way to the top, and you can switch or manage your profiles from there. When you add a profile, you can give it a name, and you can actually select a different avatar for that profile. Unfortunately, you can't pick your favorite 90 Day Fiance character. I'm really disappointed that I'm not going to be able to choose Darcy, but 
You can choose from about eight different avatars, which include a shark, a tiger, and you can then give a name to the profile as well. Unlike some other streaming services, there's no real parental controls and there's no kids mode. Hopefully they change that in the future so they're only able to access a subset of that content. While you can have five profiles, only four devices can be streaming at the same time, which is pretty generous and similar to things like Disney+. Plus. Now that you've gone through the app, Playback is super easy too. From anywhere in the app, you can select a show page. On that show page, it gives you things like the different seasons. You can select a show and just start playing it. On the devices we tested, we didn't see a way to see a preview thumbnail as you're fast forwarding, but playback seemed pretty easy and we didn't have any real buffering issues. While we did test this on the Apple TV and Chromecast with Google TV, this is available on many devices, including your mobile device. We we did play around with it on iOS, and one thing I will say I'm a little disappointed about is they don't support offline mode for now. So you're not going to be able to download your favorite content while you're traveling, which is a bummer if you don't have an internet connection and the fact that Discovery Plus, at least for now, is only available when you're connected online in the US. The other thing you should know is there is 4K content on Discovery Plus. They didn't say exactly how much there is, but they did say you can find all of it by going to search and just searching the word 4K. Also when you do your general search you'll notice there is that Ultra HD section that you can select. They did say most of the content is animal and nature content and hopefully there will be more in the future. That's it. That's everything you need to know about Discovery Plus. Let us know in the comments below what you thought of the app and if there's anything you wish they added. If you found this video helpful make sure you hit that like button and if you want more reviews and first looks just like these, make sure you hit subscribe. As always, visit us all week long at thestreamable.com. And for The Streamable, I'm Jason. Have a great week.